Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to use iDVD. Now, this is quite a really simple tutorial um, of how to make, well, a, a DVD. So, if I find iDVD, I haven't used it in a bit, but here it is. Now, iDVD is part of the iLight package, although it hasn't been updated for a couple of years now. But I don't see why not because this is an amazing piece of software. Now, what you do is you press create a new project, and this is where you can just create a new project of a DVD or whatever. So it already comes up with a name, my great DVD. I'm just going to call it that. Choose the aspect ratio. Ratio. That's uh, widescreen, which is perfect. And you just press choose, and here we go. So now it's it's got your little project or whatever it's going to be called. It now has uh, your different themes that you want to choose. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few. If I zoom in, there's quite a few uh, themes to go by. And I quite like the look of this uh, this one, which it comes up with. Now this is how easy it is. I press media and I, let's press photos let's say. So I go down and I look at the different photos I got. So I'll go down to try and find some of my uh, events. Okay here we go. So I've got my MaxSimple.tk logo. So now I can drag that in into the project. Quite literally, just drag it. Let go of it. And there's the MaxSimple.tk. Main part done. Now I click on the title. And put Mac. Oops. MacSimple.tk. Change the font, change the size, any size will do. It's a bit too big. That will do. So they go, as you can see, it's updated it in real time, uh, which is excellent for a, you know, a piece of software like this. And now you can uh, go into the storyboard uh, menu part. And literally, all you do is you press this add button down the bottom. And it says add sub menu, add movie, or add a slideshow. We're going to choose add movie um, because obviously it's going to be a DVD. So I can go down into my movies um, that I've done. I don't want to use one that's uh, been used by Chris Perillo because that's copyright. Okay, so I've got my, my project here. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to export from iMovie into a HD file you can just drag your iMovie file that's the brilliant thing about it as you can see I'm going to drag it in there you go you're done there's your video so what I can do is also I can add some media at the beginning of the video so if you want to put a copyright notice if you want to put anything I'm going to just put um, a bit of media and I'm going to put the let's put the Mac bin here so now what I can do is I can get off that feature by clicking the timeline event again and there you go, you can see it. So what I can do is I can preview a whole entire DVD. So if I just press play, here we go, this is, this is it. And what I can do is I can click that which will take me to the video. So as you can see there you go, it's took you right into video and you've done a very sophisticated, uh, let's say, video um, for not a very sophisticated piece of software, let's say, because this is so easy to do. You can do it at your home, you can do it anywhere. And also, you can press the add button, you can add your sub menu, and you can call your sub. Oops, I pressed the delete button, I'm not supposed to press that. Add the sub menu and sorry about this add the sub menu and you can put whatever so I can put um, special features so there you go you can have a special features part of the page 
So now I can go into that by going into the timeline setting. And here we go, we've got the special features page. And say if I wanted to make a put a video over there of the special features made of this movie that I've made. Or you press add movie and literally you can then drag in your movie. So I drag in the movie that I just used as an example. And there you go. And also, if you press that again, you can add another movie and another movie. You can add slideshows, anything, menus. Very sophisticated and very easy to use. Now, I'm not trying to just promote this uh, piece of software, but this piece of software takes the sting out of, uh, let's say, making DVDs. So I can go into special features now. There you go. And then take that back. And obviously I've got to change that in a minute because I, I didn't go into the page. But there you go. I can go straight into that video from that page. So very easy to do. Um, and overall it makes... It's not spending ages of time trying to uh, make a, like a DVD of uh, any... Sorry, I'm just trying to type. There you go. So there you go. You've done it. And now you can either preview it by pressing this play button, or you can press this button, which lets you burn it to a DVD. And you can play in most DVD players. Well, it should be most anyway. So I can press that. It's not going to burn it, but there you go. I've pressed it, and it will burn it when you've got a disc in there. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this video was some kind of use to somebody out there. Um, so yeah, that's an easy way to make a DVD, or a very sophisticated DVD, in iDVD. I have used this a couple of times before, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the future with Apple bringing out probably a new version. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe.